Good afternoon, six sevens. This is going to be a full review on how I want you to be doing all of your calculations in the geometry worksheets. I know many of you don't want to write down the formulas and put in the variables before you solve it. You just want to get to the answer. But remember, these are basic formulas that are teaching you the skills to then go into grade 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 and still be really successful. So I'm going to show you how to lay this out for all of them. We're going to start with triangles because that's the big focus. Uh, squares and rectangles we should be pretty solid on. If you need more review, please talk to me next week. So we're going to start with an acute triangle. This triangle does not have a 90 degree angle in it. And remember why that's important. So the legs of this are going to be 5, 4, and let's call this one 6. So the two things we're looking for this year, the first one is perimeter. P stands for perimeter. Now with all shapes, all you're doing is adding up the sides. It has to be added. Like if I started here and I walked around, I'd go five, then four, then six. On a triangle, it's going to be side plus side plus side. Please write that down. It may seem silly, but there's a reason for it. My sides, or you can even write A, B, and C. Those could be your sides. My sides are going to be 5 plus 6 plus 4. This is going to end up being 4 and five, four and 6 and 4 is 10. It's going to be 15. The perimeter of that is now done. If we had centimeters in here, I would add that in at the end. The one that seems to be really tricky for students is the area. Because now we're dealing with something different. Remember, the area is how much space is on the inside. So for the area of a triangle, we're going to go base times height divided by 2. The other way to write this is BH divided by 2. Those say the same thing. And I know some of you don't quite understand this yet. Don't worry about it. We'll get there. So my base is what the flat part of the triangle is. My base, you can even write it here, B equals 6. In this, I'm going to write B, or area, equals, my base is 6. I need to times that by the height. But we got a problem here. Because remember, the height of a triangle is not the length of the end. If this was a roof, right, if this is a roof, the height of the roof is from the bottom to the top. And what we need for that is we need a 90 degree angle. So the way we get a 90 degree angle in our triangles is to draw a line straight from the top to the base. That's the 90 degree triangle that we're looking for. If it helps, imagine that I am standing in the roof and my head completely touches the top. I'm just as top. That's how tall I am. That's the height of the triangle. So for this one, let's say that the height of the triangle is... Uh, well, let's, we'll just make it, uh, we'll make it five. No, it can't be. We'll make it uh, four. That may not make sense, but we'll just make it four. Uh, the worksheets that you have, they'll always tell you what that height is. So here, my height now, height equals four. Base times height, six times four divided by two. Order of ups, what do I do first? Multiplication, division, as they occur from left to right. 6 times 4 is 24 divided by 2. 24 divided by 2 gives me 14 centimeters. Every time you do a problem with a triangle, you have the equation or the formula. Put in the variables, then solve it. This one, I've got the formula. Put in my variables. This time it took me two steps to solve it. So grade six is that is the majority of your work this week is on that. Uh, if you're not sure what the scaling isosceles those triangles are, then please take a step back, go and take a look at the videos from last week or do a little research online. Okay, there are six types of triangles. I know you can figure that out. And if you have problems, send me an email. We can touch base with this next week. I don't want anyone stressed out about it, but see what you can do and be proud of your work.